So this is sad. We didn't see this yesterday when we drove by, but well washed up on the beach. Oh, sad, right? This is the second time we've actually found one on the beach like this. You're fine. thousand trails it doesn't have sewer hookup at the bottom bottom half where we stay at they have sewer up here at the top a lot of these trailers are uh, full-time living here up here at the top because they have full hookup so we gotta we gotta do the whole trailer disconnect everything fold it up <laughs> and come up here and empty the holding tank because you know two weeks you you know you you can't it's not gonna last two weeks so uh yeah this is kind of out here on the road up here and it's kind of small spots i mean short so yeah we've stayed here before but you kind of stick out one time the bridge was out so you had no choice but to stay up here so, this is what we're doing today. Sophie, uh, Sophie seemed to think that she was going someplace. <laughs> we have a beautiful eagle sitting on a pole. Looking for a snack. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yesterday, well, yes, let's see, yesterday, early, sometime, when, during high tide, uh, whale, dead whale, came up on, came up on the beach, and now today, we drove by yesterday and and seen it, took some video, but today we have uh, people out here from uh, I don't know, I think they're zoologists or whatever, they're out here uh, cutting it open, gonna dissect it and and try to find out probably what happened, why it died. Anyway, it's pretty cool. You must have let off the gas. <laughs> gonna go. <laughs> yep. Every time you come to the beach, he's just gonna dig himself in there deeper. I think, right? He needs to let the air out of his tires and slowly yeah, try he, to get he, out. He's too stuck. Yeah. Fortunately, there's someone who patrols this beach that gets people unstuck. So he'll be along shortly to help him. I'm sure. One of the nice things about the beach is that you can bring your motor home or your trailer down here. Yeah, stay on the hard stuff. You don't want to get stuck with your trailer. You can't stay here overnight, but you can bring it down for the day if you want to. Yeah, maybe late in the evening. Yeah. Yeah, have a bonfire at your trailer. And then you got the ocean as your front yard. That's your front yard right there. haircut yep all ready got his haircut he don't have to worry about it blowing and uh, got his truck washed today because he was worried about it being so dirty but so we're just taking a drive on the beach now yeah we moved the fire in it was fire was out here about where the propane bottle is now we moved it in put the awnings out and uh, it's uh keep the breeze down it's a lot warmer kind of chilly today tonight but you know the ocean's always this way we're having a good time it's uh we got a good spot actually we got the biggest spot in here we got here there's only probably like four motorhomes got our satellites out one for the living room one for the bedroom it's working out good anyway we're having a good time. Yep. This is where we went to the fish shack. Clam chowder is amazing. Cod. <laughs> the cod is amazing. 
and the shrimp is really good. So, yeah, this is pretty good. There you go. At Ocean Shores, Washington. Down in town, they have a... They got two go-kart tracks. It's pretty cool. But the young at heart, even the older guys at heart, <laughs> come down here and take a ride on the go-karts. Then in back there, they have another go-kart track. They got two. That would be kind of cool. I think one of these days this week, we're going to go to this other place on two streets over. They got a, a water boat ride. We can ride bumper boats. And uh, they have a putt-putt range, or putt-putt golf. We're going to do, try our luck at some putt-putt. Uh, we'll take a video clip there, too. One of my favorite things about this town is the, the deer all over the place. They're like tame. Yeah. They're just laying down, taking a nap out here. Yeah, they're not afraid of anybody. Nobody bothers them. Yeah. See, look at them. They're just, they're just like almost tame. I don't know. But you see them, you see them walking all over this town. They know they're safe here, so yeah. If you're a deer, this is the place to go. Well, just got done eating breakfast out. We stopped at a place called Our Place in Ocean Shores. Huge omelets. I forgot to, I forgot to take a picture of it. But it was it was really good. It was like home style cooking. It was yeah. Anyway, so we're cruising down the beach. We cruise down the beach every day from the park to uh, Ocean Shores, go to the post office, do what we got to do, and then turn around and hop back on the beach. And it's a straight shot right down to the RV park. So. Yeah, it's kind of nice. You don't get no traffic or anything. You just This is our road <laughs> to yeah. the beach. During, the, during the week, there's hardly anybody out here. Yeah. No traffic whatsoever. Yeah. During the weekend, there's quite a few people out here. Not a lot. Quite a few though. Yeah. So, this is our last week here. <clears throat> Monday. We can leave tentatively. We leave Friday. We're thinking about leaving early because we're supposed to have some showers and rain. But we are in the trailer, so we'll see. Well, we're back at the whale again. We got uh, their inspectant. See why it died. See what's been eaten. You can see his, his intestines out there. Oh, it looks like they might have found a net or something inside of it. Might have swallowed a net. I don't know. It kind of looks like it. Does it? Does it? Anyway. I don't think I want that job. Is it sushi yet? <laughs> Another dead well over there. Um, I, I can't get close to that one. The smell is really bad. It's been there longer. But, uh, yeah, Mike went down and checked it out. Oh. <laughs> Sophie gets so excited on the beach. <laughs> Look at her run. Have you ever seen her run before? Yeah, come on. <laughs> she loves the beach. There are well we found on the beach dead within the last two weeks. We've been coming to this beach for, I don't know, 30, 40 years? And I've never seen a dead well on the beach, and this is the third one in two weeks. So I, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but it's sad. Small trail headed out toward the beach from the RV park. To walk out here and see how far it is to the beach. It was a little bit more of a walk than we thought, but it was it was good. It was a good walk. Um, we we got to keep an eye out. That's where our markers are at to get back. But once you get through the trail, you got the whole beach to yourself, right? <laughs> kind of. There's two people out there, but we're far enough down that uh, the cars can't come this far down. So. Uh, yeah, it was a nice walk. Uh, Sophie didn't quite, 
<laughs> she didn't like it the whole time. She uh, wanted to sniff everything. There's probably lots of new smells through there for her. So, but she loves going. Yeah, to the beach. it's raining so hard. <laughs> we can't even hear the TV in the house. It's flooding up now. It was really bad. Flooding. <laughs> yeah, look, we're flooding. I think, uh, I think it's time to go home. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, back to home base. One more day here and it's time to go home, so... Yeah, see you at home.